Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun Prakash and in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create a simple ramp up text animation. Have a look. Isn't it cool? So without further ado, let's get started. Let's open After Effects. Create new composition. Name it as ramp up text animation. And I'm going to keep width and height to 1920 by 1080 and frame rate to 24 frames per second and duration to 10 seconds and click OK. And now create a new text layer and type the text which you want to add. I'm gonna type tutorial. If you want to download this font, then click the first link in the description box below. And now select the layer and select the anchor point selection tool and bring the anchor point to the center by pressing ctrl on keyboard to snap it to the center and align it to the center and now what we are gonna do is select the layer and open up the properties of the layer by clicking little arrow icon and click animation and select the position animation after that drop down the ring selector and go to advanced and change the shape to ramp up now create a keyframe on offset by clicking stopwatch icon and change it to minus 100 and go one second further and create one more keyframe at offset plus 100 and now go to position under range selector and change the y axis to plus 150 and now you can see the ramp up animation is taking place I guess this animation is much slower Let's move this second keyframe to 12 frames. Now select both the keyframes and easy ace them by pressing F9 on keyboard. Now ramp preview this. Yes, this looks good for me. But this isn't enough. Let's add more dynamic motion to it. Let's add one more animation. Go to animation, select the position again and go to advanced and change the shape from square to a ramp up. But this time, We'll change the position of Y axis to minus 20 and again add keyframe to offset from minus 100 to plus 100. Now select the layer and press U on your keyboard to open up all the keyframes and select all the keyframes and easy ace them by pressing F9. Now we are gonna offset these two keyframes. To do so, go 4 frames further by pressing page down on keyboard 4 times and move the keyframe to the position something like this. Let's ramp preview once. Yes, this looks kinda okay for me. Let's change the position of second animator to minus 50. And now let's ramp preview this. Yes, this looks beautiful for me. Now let's make it look like it is coming from a line or behind any object. To do so, let's create a new solid by pressing Ctrl Y on your keyboard. And you can add any color you want, it really doesn't matter because this will be used for the masking of text. Now select the layer and press P to open up the position and increase the Y axis value till you see the text. And adjust it properly something like this. Yes, this solid is masking the text. But this is not the end. Because if you enable the transparency, you will see the black solid. So we are gonna make it transparent completely. So to do this, Change the track mat of the text layer to alpha inverted mat. So the black solid masks the text layer. Now to create a line animation, select the pen tool and draw a straight line by holding shift and align it to the center. To animate the line, open the properties of the shape layer and go to animation, select trim path and drop down the trim path and create a keyframe for the end at 0 and go 12 frames further and create one more keyframe at end point 100 after that select both the keyframes and easy ace them and open the graph editor and change the curve to something like this now select text layer and solid layer and drag them like this so that the text animation starts after the line after that go to 2 second 12 frame on timeline and trim all the layer and pre-compose them and select adjust composition duration and click ok now duplicate this comp 
by pressing Ctrl D and right click on top layer, go to time and select time reverse layer and move the layer to 2 seconds and 12 frames so that we can have a reverse animation something like this. So this looks good for me. Now you can adjust the work area and check the transparency. So there you go, you just created a nice looking ramp up animation in After Effects. So that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful and if you are new here please consider subscribing and like and share the video and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at itsaruprakash and once again thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.